The photo also showed the actress wearing sunglasses and holding onto a breathing machine. Amy Schumer is A-OK with being candid about her health. On Wednesday, November 13, the actress, 43, shared a candid photo of herself at the gynecologist's office wearing a blue patient gown and sunglasses as she held onto a breathing machine with her feet in stirrups. While the comedian didn't give a reason for the doctor's visit, she posted the photo on her Instagram stories, writing, I'm fine. You? And her main Instagram feed with the caption, adjusting well. You? In the comments section, some of her famous friends joked about the photo, with Sasha Betty Seinfeld commenting, can I get a hit of that and Michael Abbott Jr. writing, this breathalyzer seems slightly invasive, no? Schumer has often spoken candidly about her health. In February, following speculation about why she had a puffier face during her promo tour for season 2 of Life and Beth, she revealed that she had been diagnosed with Cushing syndrome. According to the Mayo Clinic, the condition occurs when too much cortisol, the primary stress hormone, is inside one's body for a long time, leading to possible symptoms including weight gain, high blood pressure, and bone loss. Treatment options include medication, radiation therapy, or surgery. She revealed the news in Jessica Yellen's News Not Noise newsletter, expressing that she felt reborn after finding out the cause of her symptoms. While I was doing press on camera for my Hulu show, I was also in MRI machines four hours at a time, having my veins shut down from the amount of blood drawn and thinking I may not be around to see my son grow up, recalled Schumer. So finding out I have the kind of Cushing that will just work itself out and I'm healthy was the greatest news imaginable, she added, noting that she wants to advocate for women's health. The shaming and criticism of our ever-changing bodies is something I have dealt with and witnessed for a long time. I want so much for women to love themselves and be relentless when fighting for their own health in a system that usually doesn't believe them, she said.